we are back again testing more bingo with some new squares, some uh, added uh, context to some squares, and trying to just see if we can have fun with it. I'm going to try and do as many squares as I can. Uh, and this is just for testing, just for fun, uh, to see what kind of fun shenanigans we get up to. The items are randomized, as always, so... Let's go ahead and look at it in three, two, one, go. We have one minute to look through the telescope. Kill frozen half, access jewel sword location, kill at least one fire demon. Press the shortcut switch between castle entrance and marble gallery. Defeat creature using only spells. Defeat doppelganger 10 before acquiring cube of Zoe. Uh, talk to Maria five times. Defeat Galamoth, kill at least five cloaked knights. Defeat Medusa with sub weapons only. Collect all Vlad relics. Do 40 or more damage with Spirit Orb, including excluding crits. Uh, kill an Ouroboros. Use the Gravity Boots on the Librarian. All Castle 1 warps. Kill at least one Red Venus Weed and Blue Venus Weed. Pick up Skill of Wolf, Power of Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beezlebub. Leapstone before Form of Mist. Kill one Cthulhu. Have the Devil Familiar press two switches. Ghost Familiar, kill a Ghost. Kill Richter and defeat Aurox with the Sword Familiar. All right. A lot of options. A lot of options. Um, we got 10 seconds. I mean, look through the telescope we can do whenever. Uh, talk to Maria five times does require that we kill Hippogriff if we want to do it fast. Although we do have to collect all five Vlad relics anyways. So what we can do is actually uh, kill Hippogriff before, or sorry, kill Minotaur Werewolf before killing Hippogriff and then just beat the game to talk to Maria for the fifth time, uh, which is doable. So that's an option. That could be interesting. We have to ki skip Cube of Zoe if we want the Doppelganger 10 before Cube of Zoe one. Do I scream bingo when I hit bingo? You have to, yes. You have to scream, scream bingo as loud as possible and then find the nearest oldest person you can find and then push them over and say, I win. I'm the one that gets the snacks. Right? Because you go to the bingo hall and, you know, you play bingo and the winner gets like a candy bar or some shit. You know, we've all been to bingo nights with the, for, for seniors, right? We've all been there. We're all in the age group where it's appropriate to go to bingo nights. I'm the one who gets the meds. Yeah, winner gets the, the Percocets. Frozen half means we're going to have to go to Gallimoth anyways, and we do have defeat Gallimoth on the board. So there is some synergy there. This is a two-hitting sword. Seems like it has a bad hitbox. Um, we got the penis weeds. So we're going to have to go to the second castle for that. My general strategy so far has been batching things up into first and second castles. Squares. And using that as kind of like my grounding point. Like, what can I do in the first castle? What can I do in the second castle? And I want to combine as many as I can. Race strategy-wise, ideally, you could try and sneak a uh, meal ticket. That's not what I want. Okay. You can try and sneak in a bingo line for a quick win, or you could do some uh, creative... Uh, blocking so for example this being the center square means it's the most important square do 40 damage with um oops spirit orb because the center square has the most bingo potential uh how many bingos go through the center square is it five up down left right and diagonals up down left right both diagonals so it's four uh so we have to skip cube of zoe but we do have to grab spirit orb Interestingly enough. Yeah, the age group that appreciates Symphony of the Night is slowly aging into the same age group that plays bingo. Like legitimate bingo. Like calling out numbers and shit. What up, Blue? Hope you're doing well. Is this item rando? I am gonna do the IQ check because I feel like early. Never mind. Everything's a fucking life max up, dude. This is fine. Pushing eighty, um, unfortunately. Aren't we all? 
I mean, we're all pushing 80. It's just, you know, how quickly are we pushing it? Yeah, I haven't warmed up or played Soten at all today, so uh, I'm playing poorly. But we're still getting good general testing and practice and stuff. No items yet is a little annoying. I'm trying to keep that in mind. I imagine most players are going to be playing without items unless they get like a good one at the very start. So maybe a lot of seeds will go like this where you just don't find a weapon for a while. There's only a handful of good weapons and like plenty of bad item drops, so... Let's see, let's see. Oh, well, with Medusa sub weapons only, we're gonna have to get the cube of Zoe at some point. But, ooh, that sword looks good. We could grab that maybe. Why am I checking this as if it's like a random relic? Muscle memory, rando brain. I know it's spirit orb. So now we just need to do more than 40 damage. Is there, like, a cheeky way to do more than 40 damage? Maybe with, like, a TNT? Yes! All right. That's actually huge. That I like that a lot more. I like the creative aspect of, like, okay, what options do I have to do more than 40 damage early on to try and snipe this square? That's cool. That's way better than trying to hit, like, a specific damage number, like 42 or 69 or whatever. Because, like, if somebody else is like, okay, I have Spirit Orb, but now I don't have the means to do 40 damage. I'm just holding on to the Spirit Orb. Whereas somebody else uses their big old brain. That's one talking to Maria. Uses their big old brain and says, wait, I have a freaking TNT. Let me use that for extra damage. I like that. That's cool. This square is immediately a billion times cooler than it was before because of that. I could even up the damage if I wanted it to be more restrictive, but I think 40 is a good uh, starting point. Because most weapons, even like top tier weapons, won't let you do 40 damage right away. At like level one. It usually requires additional stat upgrades, right? So like if somebody wants to spend their uh, attack potion or something as well to get extra strength, like... I feel like knowing how to do lots of damage and increasing your damage is really cool. And an interesting part of the the, the whole point of that square. Question is, do I look through the telescope now? We do have to grab all Castle One warps as well, so I have to keep that in mind. I feel like going through the telescope's a little slow to do right away. And I could always wait until after grabbing Soul of Bat to do it. Lockout. This will this would all be lockout bingo. I think lockout bingo is a infinitely more interesting um, format, personally. I am gonna go look through the telescope. Because in a lockout situation, you wanna do this as fast as possible. Damn, look at that time loss. It takes fucking forever. Tribute. You steal men's Whoa! And make them your slaves. Green Beast, thank you for the prime. Hope you're doing well. Like, yeah, that was like almost a minute of time loss to get down there. Where's Fairy Dude? It's random whether he shows up. If I remember correctly, I think it's just random. All right, well, don't die to Doppelganger. Go. To be fair, I just do this. Because I'm pretty sure he doesn't dodge the TNT. Oh. 
It was a dud! Shit. That's very unfortunate. The TNT can randomly be a dud, which is very funny. I learned that the other day. For the first time, after playing this game for years. I've been playing this game almost my entire life. Didn't know that you could have dud fucking explosives, but you can. Another life max up. Can I get a fucking weapon, my guy? Or a shield? Something. I'm starving over here. Oh, that was uh, Doppelganger before Cupid Zoe as well. Almost forgot. Holy shit, this bingo's looking kind of crazy. I just had to beat Beezlebub and beat All Rocks, and that's it? I can get the world's fastest bingo line right now. I am grabbing this potion for iframe potential later. We do have to grab all castle one warp, so I'm grabbing this now. We have to get cube of Zoe at some point. Yeah, you would have to hustle to all rocks right away to block the bingo. Otherwise, you're forced into a really bad spot. Whatever, Ben. Where you lose if the other player goes straight for Beezlebub. But then you have to go straight for Beezlebub, skipping a bunch of stuff in the first castle. That's why lockout bingo is so interesting, because there's a lot of strategy around creating a line and then you could choose to follow that line through, get the bingo and win. Or you could say, okay, I'm not actually going for that bingo. I'm gonna play it safe and actually threaten the bingo, but then go for other stuff instead to win by majority or to block other possible bingos that the opponent could go for. There's a lot of options available. Again, once we start seeing like actual bingo races, shit's gonna get really hype really fast in my opinion. Because it really just comes down to routing, right? Especially like the mid game and late game routing stuff. Thank you. I need more bullets. I need more bullets. Pick a weapon. I need more bullets. I need more bullets. Pick a weapon. Yes. That's definitely a reference to something that I am not picking up on, and I apologize. Yeah, we gotta be all rocks with his son, exactly. I feel like these item checks might be a little greedy, but... Alright, I'll take a mana prism, whatever. It's a TikTok meme? Uh... Yeah, I don't... I've never, I've never downloaded TikTok. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it real. I think I've maybe watched like two total lifetime. Sorry. I'm old, what do you want from me? I'm pushing 40 pink hair, gender pronouns, etc., etc. Pick up Leapstone before Form of Mist? Oh shit. I guess I'm locking myself out of that. That's fine, because... This is what I would do in a bingo race like this, where I don't... This isn't important for my strategy. Not Sorry, the um, Leapstone Before Mist is not important to any of the lines I'm going for. So I can just save right now. Oops. So I have a save that doesn't have Mist yet, and then get Leapstone afterwards. Like, I can reset, come back to here to grab that square later if I need to. Ha. 
<laughs> That's the plan. So for the pickup leap stone before mist, uh, I have a save set up to do that later. Because in lockout bingo, sometimes giving up a square to go for an even faster set of squares is probably ideal, right? And that's what I'm going for here. Isn't time traveling cheating? When have I not been time traveling, bro? The idea of speedrunning in and of itself is time traveling, just linearly through time, but you're still traveling. Think about it. We're all time traveling. There we go. This also helps us with the all castle one warps. This also helps us with um, the all rocks with sword familiar summoned, so we can rush that after. So we're pretty much just gonna rush getting flight. We're gonna warp back, kill all rocks with sword familiar. I just don't have great weapons, that's the issue. So killing all rocks is gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. But I do want to play this like as if I was racing somebody and had this board available. Like if they went for something else and I was able to get all three of these immediately, then like, you know, I'm in a really good spot, obviously. No cube of Zoe though does make things tough because I am missing out on some potential money. I did get the Zircon earlier, so maybe I might be able to afford something. That $50 might be the make or break point between like buying a potion or not, so fuck it. Thank you. I can buy a power of Sire? Oh. Thank you. Maybe we just buy... Eight, four power of sires, and that's it. Ooh, Alucard Shield for 400, though. Oh, Duplicator for 4k. Okay, this shop's kind of insane. Thank you. Unfortunately, I will concede I need a shield for faster movement, and then power of sire will be how I kill uh, all rocks. That's the plan. Dude, my movement trash. I don't think I'm going to die, but just in case. Jesus. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. This fight is also going to be a little tough, I feel like. Oh, never mind. Lesser Demon's a little baby. I have to wait for my magic anyways. I don't want to use my Mana Prism. Play more. At least it's a weapon. 17. There we go. It's either use my mana prism or wait 20 seconds. Oh, shit. I use my mana prism. Unfortunately. Oh, I could have done this better. Could 
could luck mode and bingo work? I don't think you would want to do luck mode and bingo. I think that would make your life a lot harder. So I think the play is we do this. Pretty much right away. And then we start cleaning up all of the other squares. Because in this race scenario, assuming I get defeat all rocks with a sword familiar summoned, I'm just not going to go to the second castle right away. So. I'm going to force my opponent to do that. Is it even worth checking these? If I'm like... Oh, now it is. Yeah, if I'm beelining it, I don't think it's worth checking these items, but... Me insta-losing Bingo because I named my character Richter. Well, that'll happen. The shop is really good, so getting this diamond is nice. Yeah, there is a square for sit in, uh, I think it's like five chairs. But we haven't seen it yet. To be threatening a line within 20 minutes is pretty good, I feel like. Oh, I fucked this up big time. Not enough power of sires to just kill him outright. Uh, do we have the bat ones? We have wolf. But it doesn't look like we need echo, right? Yeah, echo is not on the board, so we can leave. So now... Honestly? I think we go this way to go to Castle Keep, yeah? At this point, I think we just go this way and go Castle Keep. Maybe we grab Silver Ring along the way? Because we can technically grab Silver Ring right now. What up, Dave? I just have to save my mana. My mana's a little low. It's one of the downsides of not having power of mist right now. If that's a library card, I'm in fucking business, dude. Oh, I am in 
business. Now, I think the correct play is we library card after grabbing Silver Ring. So that way I can get the... Goddamn. Duplicator. Fuck it. I'm down. That's also talking to Maria twice now. Gotta keep that in mind. What can I do for you? I'm interested. <laughs> like, like, like. I'm interested in this. No Varda. I can get an Aries though. Thank you. I think there's a reason to right now. I think I'm better off just grabbing potion for eye frames. Oh, the elixir would have been better actually. Thank you. Monster vial, sure. Thank you. Farewell for now. That's fine. No mana prism or library card at this point is a little annoying, but it is what it is. I'm also gonna have to get rid of sword card at some point. If I had saved my Mana Prism, this would have been way better now, but also Sword Card, you, you gotta go. Sorry, Zorla. We do have to gravity boot from underneath the librarian. Grabbing the gravity boots would be nice anyways. So the only way we can talk to Maria five times is if we beat the game and talk to her at the end, I'm pretty sure. Because we've talked to her twice now. Maybe we can access the jewel sword location whenever we want now. I should be looking for potential mana prisms as well. Flame stars is nice to have, actually. Alrighty. I might switch off the Bat Familiar to Flame Star actually in this next room. Because they just hit instantly, so. That's fine. Buy the Maria DLC cutscene. That's a great idea, actually. We can go kill the five Cloaked Knights. Since we're here. Sunstone. Life max up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Cut. Survive. One of the bigger tiles should be activate sunstone. Yeah. You can talk to her six times total. Yeah. So if you skip the one in um, chapel, you have to talk to her at the end of the game after killing Dracula, basically. I do need Ghost Card. 
So let's go do that. I might check those items as well. Yo, is that Alucard shield? God damn. I'm rich. I could sell that to somebody thinking it's the Alucard shield and make a billion dollars. Life Apple. They have cross shurikens, at least. Yeah, too bad the library doesn't uh, deal in collectibles or armor or anything other than just gems and money, I guess. Buffalo stars, might as well pick those up. Cheese. All right, we only have one warp left for all castle one warps. Mm. I think I'm gonna go this way to grab gravity boots. Was it saying I didn't check? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get gravity boots and then go into the caverns. That seems like the correct play to me. Why did I say cheese like that? Have you never seen Wallace and Gromit? Meal ticket. Uncultured. You guys are out here talking about referencing TikToks. I'm, I'm referencing art. <laughs> you know, acclaimed art, Wallace and Gromit. You would never understand. <laughs> Man, now I'm feeling old. What the fuck? I'm out of fucking magic. My own fault. Fair enough, you know? It's my fault for getting old. Curse of the Were Rabbit's great. There's, there's ton good, uh, ton of good Wallace and Gromit stuff out there. Underrated claymation. Probably not underrated, actually, as far as claymation goes, but claymation in general. I, as your oldest viewer, got that reference. Thank you, Sestrid. Thank you. How's it going, by the way? Hope you're doing well. The most dumb idea got rush with only suck weapons. Dude, Joel Musk, you gotta leave me alone, man. This guy. That shit's ultra cursed. We tried sub weapons, uh, or sorry, boss rush fist only, and that was already miserable. I don't think sub weapons would make it. Middle sub weapons might make it a little easier, but still, miserable. What, uh, Pavic? All right, there's gold ring. Having gravity boots here is nice. I guess we can access the jewel sword location and get 
one of the wolf relics. Is there any other reason to do any of this shit, though? I don't think so. So maybe it's better to just grab the uh, the warp and then leave? Actually, because there's no other reason to be in the caverns at all, right? Other than the devil, I guess? Devil card pressing both switches. Gotta switch to Buffalo. Where are you, a coward? Yes, I am a coward. 100%. I cower in fear of the wasted time. I've already wasted hundreds of hours playing this game in the dumbest ways possible. Let me have some peace in my life. How much time does Blackout Bingo take? Uh, my Blackout Bingos have been taking about an hour 15-ish. When I'm focusing on just doing Blackout. I'm taking my routing a little differently for this board. Because I'm trying to play as if I was like racing somebody, which is a little bit different. Because you kind of like snipe specific spots if you're racing for that uh, exact thing. For example, like right now, if I wanted to do like a crazy kill shot, I would go back to the library. Oh, that's also collect all um, Castle One warps before I forget. Oh, I didn't kill the, the red Venus weed as well. That's kind of a mistake. I forgot to do that. After opening the switch, I could have killed the red Venus weed. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. God damn it. Boom. Dude, not having those infinite mana prisms when I could have is like so annoying. Now I go back to castle entrance. And once I get there, I'll press the shortcut switch. Bam. And now I'm threatening two lines. So at this point, my opponent would have to defeat Beezlebub without transforming or, and also uh, pick up Leafstone before Form of Mist, which if they just skipped out on doing, they're in a bad, a really bad spot. I do need to get I don't need to get bat familiar, actually. Okay. Well, then in that case, I'm just going to do this. Grab skill of wolf, and then we're going to grab power of wolf.
What is the VIP badge and why is it so expensive? Uh, it's just a meme. Like Diagon, for example, has the VIP badge. It's just a way to denote people in the stream that are people of note. Usually my friends and such. Or people who've just been around a long time. Uh... Where's the jewel sword location? Does Joel have VIP? Joel is the mascot of the stream, so he doesn't need VIP. Bam. There's another one. All right, here's how I'm actually gonna end the bingo. You guys aren't, aren't ready for this. You guys are not seeing the line that I'm seeing. Y'all are not ready for this shit. I do, too easy. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Whoa. There we go. Miss this faster? I'd have to reset. That is an option. I do believe that that would be the fastest way to win, uh, obviously, is to reset my game and then um, just beeline it to the missed location. But I do want to play a little bit more and mess around with a few other ideas while we're while we're playing the bingo. Might as well play the bingo, you know. How many squares do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm already threatening majority with two more squares anyways. Is there no way to randomize relics? Uh, I don't want to randomize relics because that creates too much chaos and you can't um, route things properly. I get why you did it this way, but it feels kind of bad. In what way? What would randomizing relics fix and make it better? Because I'm, I'm open to suggestion about uh, working on this format. I don't think the format is like perfect. It's good. I'm enjoying it, but it probably feels the same. Well, that's the whole point of racing, right? Is that you and your opponent are racing to get the specific squares and you're going to have to change your route on the fly based off of what your opponent is blocking from you and stuff, right? Because if I'm just trying to beeline the fastest possible line, my opponent can block that line at any point and then I'm screwed, right? So it's a combination of quickly acquiring s squares that are uh, along the way, as well as prioritizing lines. So it won't always be the same. In fact, I've done a, a number of these, and every time the route has been slightly different. Uh, one of the bingos I did, I think I delayed getting Soul of Bat for like 30 minutes. But in delaying Soul of Bat for 30 minutes, I had like six squares. 
So you have to make that trade off of like, okay, well, I could do the normal route and get Soul of Bout as soon as possible, but I'm missing out on getting squares by doing that. So I think if you just try and do the same route every single time, you're going to have a bad time and probably lose a lot. Yeah, and the board places the, the squares differently every time. That's that's the important part. We could always add new objectives as well. I don't want to add too many objectives that are like on top of each other. Otherwise, synergy gets a little too crazy. Like, I already feel a little uncomfortable the fact that there's defeat Galamoth and kill a frozen half um, on the same board. You know what I mean? But Symphony of the Night, unfortunately, is not a very large game. So ultimately, there is going to be overlap, and you just kind of have to accept that. But if you have more overlap in the late game, I think that's better than having overlap in the early game, because that's too much. It's I think it's too powerful to have too much synergy early game, if that makes sense. Honestly, this is too. This might be too much. Look through the telescope, defeat Doppelganger 10 with, uh, before acquiring Cube of Zoe, and do 40 damage with the Spirit Orb. That might be too much early game. I don't know. It's, it's all about balancing, right? Also, you're saying this is new over just doing a rando. That is true, yeah. I think just doing rando races over and over and over again has been great for the community, but has also turned the community into a bunch of, like, sponge brains. Straight up. I, I think the community has lost the ability over time to evaluate speedruns outside of just uh, probability calculations through gambling. Straight up. I think the community is just a bunch of gambling addicts now. Which is very unfortunate. And people have lost sight on, like, routing things outside of the, well, if I do this, I win if it's the final Vlad Relic, so I'm going to do it. It always has been. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. At least the people who were speedrunners first and randomizer players second, at least tried to fight back on that play style. But now I think it's gotten way out of hand. Not, not that it's a bad thing. It's just a different way to view the game, right? But I think that idea and that play style is not going to be rewarded. As much in bingo. Because bingo is about uh, risk assessments based off of trying to outplay your opponent instead of just gambling that a relic is in the spot that you want it to be in. You know what I mean? Can I get a better sub weapon for killing Medusa, actually. Because that would be nice if I'm going to kill Medusa sub weapons only. I'd like a better sub weapon than Axe. Thank you, Holy Water. Perfect. I already feel uncomfortable the fact that sub weapons are randomized and I have squares that require using sub weapons. You know what I mean? That alone is already like, man, am I going too far with that? I don't know. There we go. That's game, right? Normally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No, I need one more. I lied. I don't know how to count. The way I tried to base these squares is I tried to make things like, I don't know, not too synergistic, but at the very least based off of going to specific locations. Like forcing people to go to locations that they may or may not have thought of going in a normal playthrough or like a normal speedrun, I mean. You don't have to beat the game for bingo. You never have to actually kill Dracula to finish your bingo. Bingo is about when your win condition is met, you win. And that's it. And win condition is either a line or majority. I'm doing testing, so I'm going to be doing extra squares and not, like, going for lines as fast as possible just to test things out. 
What about the whole pushing the elderly part? That's after you scream bingo and win. Of course. Damn it. Also understanding that, like, I'm not doing a lot of save splits, but I feel like save splits might actually be really good. In fact, you know what? I will do some save splitting. For kill one fire demon in kill Ouroboros... I think you save split those two since they're kind of close together. And I do that before going to creature probably. There's no reason to go to Coliseum, right? I know I also missed out on killing Richter, but I have another save, so if I wanted a fast square, I could have killed Richter, actually, now that I think about it. Ouroboros is in castle entrance. Reverse castle entrance. Gonna Google? Okay. I don't have a lot of MP in this section after this, so... Yeah, it's the flea man that's riding the dragon. take a different route if all castle 2 warps were on the board You have to kill the actual Ouroboros and not have them follow you around like this, right? Because you can't get the item to drop unless you actually kill the, the enemy, right? Or am I thinking of it the other way around? Like that. Either way. They're dead. Oh, and then I reset. That was the whole point. And now I just need to do death and creature to collect all Vlad rocks, and then I win with uh, Bingo. I could also kill Frozen Half. Like, there's a lot of ways. So. Overall, I think this has been useful to, like, sit down and test ideas. I definitely skipped a few things that I could have done, like kill Cthulhu in both castles. I could have done that by now. But I skipped the one in the first castle.
Could we end on creature, maybe? For collect all relics? Hmm. I don't know. Again, like, you could route this a billion different ways and probably come up with a billion different ideas. Which is very interesting. Like, the Venus Weed thing I also could have done by now. Now that I have the access to blue Venus Weeds right here. If I had done the red Venus Weeds in the other castle. So I feel like late game in particular, the routing is going to be very dynamic, right? Especially if the lines you're going for get sniped, which is one of the reasons why I really, really want to start practicing, uh, or testing, I mean, with other people in, like, pseudo-race scenarios. I feel like that would help a lot. Go. I think I'm just gonna warp now. Or I can just go backwards, actually. Yeah. As long as I don't soft log, it's probably fine. It's probably faster than warping to get to creature, if I had to guess. I don't know. Like warping all the way to Castle Keep doesn't feel fast to me. Let's turn off Spirit Orb just in case. I don't want to soft lock by wing smashing into these guys. Nice. All right. I could also talk to Maria my fifth time after beating Dracula. That's another thing I'll test. Real quick. Because I feel like if Collect All Vlad Relics is on the board, using Maria, like talking to Maria that many times, if it hasn't been claimed yet, is probably just like kind of free. That's what the testing's for. It might just be, like, too bad anyways, because I feel like beating the game just takes such a long time. That maybe it's not worth it? I don't know. I could kill a creature using only spells, but I don't want to. At this point, I don't think it's worth it. I don't have enough MP for that. I would have had to do it differently, but... We'll call it there. I could have beaten the game after this. Uh, Beezlebub without transforming was uh, on the table. There's a lot of different routes we could have taken. I obviously could have gotten Bingo in the first castle if I reset and then grabbed the Leapstone as well. So a lot of options. I think threatening these two very early was very powerful. Yeah, we're, we're uh, did... Bingo! I have Bingo, please, hey, hey, I have Bingo, I did it, please. Uh, it was fun, it was fun. We're gonna keep uh, evolving this, I think from now on, unless I really want to add a new square or need to edit a square, the squares are gonna stay the same and I think I need to start testing with people. So that'll be my next goal. So we probably won't be seeing much Bingo until I start testing with people, so. Look forward to that. Uh, hey, if you watched all the way to the end, please comment uh, for the algorithm and subscribe on Dragon Blitz Daily. It would help me out a lot. Please, thank you. And uh, join the live streams, twitch.tv slash Dragon Blitz.